Noobcast. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Noobcast. This is Blomus, and this is number 499. Holy crap, guys. We are one cast away from 500. I still... It's Thursday, and I don't know what I'm doing for 500, so... I've got enough cast to get me. I think this will put us through Monday, so I got to figure something out over the weekend to do for number 500. I got a couple irons and some fires, just seeing if I can come up with something. If nothing else, a really great game for Stargirl and I to cast. But in the meantime, we have Tazernix, our Masters Protoss player from Australia, in the red pieces here and this is core hall compound new map for season six this is still pre-patch so um this if you aren't weren't sure the new patch did drop after season six started so we do have some of the new maps on the old patch his opponent autodidact which is interesting it's an interesting name i'm always interested in words and you know Obviously, I have a lot of fun with StarCraft names, but Autodidact, Didact is in someone who uh, teaches through conversation. So I don't know what an Autodidact would be. <laughs> Maybe it's somewhere where if you just talk to him, you automatically learn something. Should be pretty cool if that's what his name was. But anyway, here we are, Core Hall Compound. Xeranex and Autodidact, if you are unfamiliar, this is Noobcast, where we put a focus on lower-level, non-pro gameplay. And we are talking about StarCraft 2 here, obviously. I do not cast any other games as of yet. Um, it was never my intention to do anything other than StarCraft 2. And, you know, there's really no other game that I'm as passionate about as StarCraft 2. But I did play Tribes of Sin today, and that game is pretty stinking good. Uh, very high skill, um, high skill level, and uh, just uh, a, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I can see it being fun to watch, I think. I think. I'm not sure. I, I have to see some broadcasts, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm not sure how it's going to be. Uh, I know there's the NASL is doing it this season in their, um, in their broad, pardon me hiccups man in their broadcast so uh be curious to see how they cover it and what they do as far as replays and perspectives and what they're going to uh look at autodidact trying to block this gas stalker gonna make that uh that blockage a little bit superfluous and he gonna die here comes another scv for the taking and um scv versus stalker could be close, but I'm pretty sure Stalker will win every single time. 100% kill rate. Autodidact going for the double gas. Getting both of those bad boys down. Making some Marines. As Tazarinex does what Protoss do. And going out with his first Zealot and Stalker. Wants to take a little map control. Wants to see if there's any units out for... Uh, for the taking maybe poke in the front and see what's going on here not going to see too much as uh autodidact jumps in the bunker and his Aranx is just going to have to turn around and go home of course these two units micro dwell can kill these four units but it doesn't look like autodidact wants to chase him down so it looks like we're looking at three gate expand here normal as can be for Tazarinix. Very normal opening. Get a nice number of probes here. Gonna put those in gas. Gonna, oh, perfectly finishing up just in time with these gates. Gonna move some units over there, some probes, and both of these players out to an early economic start. Looking to see a nice full macro game. What? I guess he started a reactor, canceled it, and went for a tech lab. Okay, so he's going to... That was interesting. Alright. Stim already... Uh, third of the way down here. 
Reef, first Reaper coming out here for Autodidact. And Tazarenix just chilling out here with his gateway units. A couple sentries, a couple zealots, a couple stalkers. Did not mater to any probes? None? Interesting. Yeah, he did move a few over. He moved a few. Not that many. He moved about four. Um, I'm noticing a lot in higher level play, masters and up, and, and a lot of pro games that um, people are not mannering workers. And by mannering, if you're not aware of that term, uh, it means when you take a bunch of probes and stick them on your expansion. I'm seeing fewer and fewer players do that at higher levels. I'm not sure what the reasoning is. I think that they the idea is that it's more efficient to keep your one base fully saturated and only move only move work workers that where you're oversaturated and otherwise just um, chrono out workers and re-rally. See how Tazarenex has rallied here to his natural minerals? Uh, and it actually... It's been worked out, from what I understand, that this is a better way to go. To just re-rally your Nexus, keep your one base saturated. I'm still just out of habit. I still mannered, mannered uh, probes over. I take, I just take about eight, eight or twelve, depending on how many I have here. Um, the concern is that you're losing a bunch of mining time, and it actually is not better. It's not more efficient. The way that uh, the time it takes, I guess, to move things over, etc., etc. Concussive shell incoming for Auto Dynact. Got a couple of gates here. Double forge for Tazarenix, getting those upgrades, and we're seeing a lot of bio. This is going to be a bio with uh, medivacs. You're going to see them being pumped out doubly, and more barracks being thrown down so this is going to be a fully bio force neither player looking to take a third just yet and it looks like oh here's the third uh by autodidact he is going to be moving over and in the mean in the meantime moving out with a not a huge force this is not not a size not as sizable a force as you like to see moving out of this time and would absolutely get crushed by this if uh, well microed with force fields etc and this probe looking to take a third down here as well observer gonna see the size of this force another observer going to see the size of this force so it's not looking good here for autodidact a little force fields a little loose so he actually needs to uh, get out of there. He doesn't have many stalkers here, so he can't fire behind the force fields. And Autodidact lost uh, about a handful of marines there, and it looks like he's just going to turn around and get out of dodge. Going to kill off this probe, which is fine. No big deal. And Tazarenix looks like he might want to give chase, but uh, we have charge and plus two upgrades incoming for to Xeranix. No upgrades for Didact, so um, it's actually it's good that he's running away, because he would just get slaughtered. Even on the food supply, however, Autodidact does have his third up. It is running, it is mining, he's dropping mules on it, so he's got a decidedly um large advantage here. Charge not finished. I don't think Tazarenix wants to try to engage here. It's going to be really hard for him to... And yeah, with the concussive shell, Autodidact is just going to be able to... Nice force fields. Very nice. That's how you want to keep your keep your opponent from attacking. And Oh, and here's a drop in the main. Stalker's just hanging out, standing there. Charge finally finishes, and that's going to make things a little bit more difficult. There goes the force fields, and the autodidact forced to pick up his final two marauders and take off. Oh, is he going to get that? He's not going to get that. <laughs> Sitting in like a perfect place, cannot be reached. And now, 
Autodidact going to move into the third and probably force a cancel here because these units are a little bit too far away. It's going to be close. Here, yep, there's the cancel. Not a huge army here. Um, and Autodidact forced to stim and run away as we see Archons are out for Tazarenix. And these Zealots are giving chase. Uh, then now these guys are kind of uh, yeah there's those reinforcements from behind not gonna go well for these zealots Sarenix needs to get them out nope they're dead they are deed third started again for to Zarenix, uh, and a fourth being built here for autodidact he's doing very good economically just um, not that great on production and uh, now he's rallied where is he rallied to? He's got everything rallied to this. Another engagement here. Mortal getting caught away from the army. Second Immortal out, though, and he is... Where the heck he's going? I don't know. But Tazarenix's army is kind of split up here. And as you look at the minimap, you can see Autodidact's army is everywhere, in pieces, trying to gather together under these medevacs. Another... It's just the rally. It's just a weird rally. He's got everything rallied right here. And that's where everything is headed. He needs to fix that rally. Um, where is it rallied now? Did he change it? Uh, he did re-rally everything to the front. Okay, good. Now this is a pretty big army. Five medevacs. Um, no ghosts as of yet, though. He is getting 2-2. Two, two. To Zarenix starting on 3-3, three, three, so still ahead in the upgrades. Um, third base finally finishing. He's probably pretty mined out in these other places. Ah, he's, no, he's pretty healthy. He's going to be mining from three bases for a while. And that's when things get fun for Protoss, as we see ghosts coming out with the Mobius reactor. So EMP will be a factor. Man, I hate EMP. Autodidact sees that the third is up. Has a marine over here at the fourth as well to see if Tazarenix is going to try to catch up there economically. Lots of Archons here for Tazarenix. He's going to need, I think, to... Is Storm finished? That's the question I want to ask. No, not even researched yet. Seeing nukes go down for Autodidact and a Planetary Fortress over here at the fourth. Man, that's the longest <laughs> series of uh, upgrade bar I think I've ever seen. And uh, Autodidact gathering his forces at the front of Tazarenix's base. Wants to get in there. And this is looking like trouble. 3-3 three, three may finish before this engagement if he can hold it off for one second. There's the Guardian Shield. He's chasing after. 3-3 three, three finishes right in the middle of the battle. Stalker's blinking in from the side. Zealots charging out great force fields gonna hold that bio army in place to get hammered by archons and stalkers and immortals and to Zarenix, decidedly crushing that force takes a sizable food lead here and gonna try and chase down these uh, not try he does with blink chases down the Vikings and takes them out three three down um, Infantry and armor and ship level. That's interesting. Ship attack level three also going down. I didn't I don't even recall seeing the first two levels, which means that he must be thinking of doing something with that air attack. Um let's see if there's we have one starport, two starports, both with reactors, so it's gonna be all Vikings. Uh, I don't see any other possibilities here, but the there's no Colossus coming for Tazarenix. There's one Robo, but there is no Bay. And I do not foresee... We're still not seeing it, so... Um, both Charge. Still no Storm either, as far as I can tell. So he's going all Archons here. Looking at the third to nuke. Zarenix going to get the pull off easily. He's going to lose a couple pylons and a couple of probes, but no big deal. And here's the engagement. 
in the back. Stalker is kind of out of place here. Needs to blink in and help out. EMP's going off everywhere. I want to check the uh, health bars here. You can see shields are completely gone on the Archons. I mean the temp, the freaking Immortals. But the Archons out front still have a good bit of shields and they are doing their business. And again, uh, to Xeranex. Things evened up though as we watch this ghost die. Things have evened up in the food department. To Xeranex still just fine in his base. Another ghost, the ghost that delivered that nuke, is dead. But uh, Autodidact just going like crazy with the mining. He is uh, doing a great job. He's still got some patches here. I mean, not a ton, but you know, maybe a thousand minerals here he can still mine. I always like to keep a couple guys on those, even if it's just two, just to finish up. And almost done, mined out here in the main as well. Xeranix, again, yeah, he's got the idea. So you leave two guys on those remaining patches while you move everybody else around. Oh, a couple of uh, coffee-breaking probes back here. Taz, you need to get on that. Warp Prism in the back. I think that's the first time he has seen this base. Uh, might, yeah, he doesn't have even seen the third yet, let alone the fourth. And here comes Autodidact scanning around. Finds the fourth, going to take this down very easily. Splitting up his forces. Ah, it's going to. Oh my goodness. Uh, kind of getting surrounded here by all these forces. And these immortals just tearing through these marauders, just absolutely decimating them. And wow, that was a very. That was surprisingly. An even trade. And there's some marauders out here protecting against this warp bin. Autodidact still actually ahead in food. He has so many barracks. Four on the low ground. Another six up top. That's ten total plus two starports. My goodness. That's only uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on the low ground. Plus five down here. Fifteen racks. And another command center coming in, morphing into a orbital, no doubt. Drop some marines in the main. Nothing left here to really take out except for some pylons. Very quickly dealt with by these stalkers. Dark Shrine is out for Tazarenex, so he could be looking to do some uh, harassment. Templars in a very strange place. Can they feed back command center? I bet they can. Everything split up on the map. We have army over here for Tazernix, army moving out here, and stalkers. Probably should blink out of here. But these units are going to get surrounded. Oh, chasing after so many different groups of units. It's uh, These rallied units are separated from any main force, and Tazernix is basically just able to pick them off piecemeal here. Uh, I think this is the main area of action. And it's also a function of of Corhole Compound. If you say, okay, units come back here, they're all going to go in different directions to get there. Um, to Xeranix, I hope he's got these guys all in one hockey. He does. He has them sitting on hockey three. Yep, there they are. And oh, where is that nuke back here? There's nothing really to... Oh, but he finds the ghost, and that is the end of that. But probes get killed anyway. Zell's going to get warped in. Nice blink in. Unit's going to get picked off. And Tazarenix slowly climbing ahead in the food count now. He is finally getting his fourth base populated. He's going to need to move some probes over there. And check out the work count. 67 SCVs to 54 probes, and we have seen some of those probes dying, so um, are we going to have a major engagement here? Here comes one Colossus in the mix now, and level 3 shields up and storm, so Tazernix has been doing 
his due diligence with his upgrades. And you're hearing snipes go off, but it sounds like everything is dying. And Tazarenix is in the production facilities now. I don't think... I don't think this is exactly going to end it because there are so many racks here and Autodidact has a ton of money. He can just queue things up here. And he's, he is shooting from the high ground so he's able to pick off some units. Um, and he's still, to Zaranix, not even that far ahead. It looks like he's going to lose this Colossus if he's not careful. No drops happening. I'm surprised if I don't know if I missed it, but I haven't seen any use of DTs thus far. We just saw uh, Thermal Lance finish, and like I said, Storm, we did see Storms go down, and those are finished as well. I'm trying to keep my eye on the minimap to see if there's any DT warp ins or anything, but I don't see anything. There's one Viking coming out of here just uh, picking on Colossus as they spawn, and there's the blink in of the Stalkers to keep that at bay. Archon's coming, trying to, uh, just little drops trying to force the army into a particular place so that Autodidact can come in from behind and face the, uh, face the army, or get the army off of its main place. Here's more, uh, Vikings taking out some Colossus, easily killing them. Uh, Archons in the base, though, in their in their face, not in the base. Archons in their face. Now we see a huge surround by Zealots. Man, just like Zerglings. Can we get one more? Nope. Medvac lives. And as you can see, um, Cesarenix, man, doing a great job of keeping in Autodidact, just attacking from all different sides. And Tazarenix just able to keep his cool, stay with it. No medevacs here for these units, so they are all going to fall very quickly. Um, they are all 3-3. They do have stim, but um, charge lots are very hard to kill in the game, especially for marauders. And as you can see, we have SCVs now coming in from the back, trying to uh, do some damage, any damage at all. And I think... Um, Autodidact realizes that he's kind of uh, on his last foot, and, and now you see the food leap climbing badly for Tazarenix, and he is uh, way ahead now. We do also see some DTs in the mix, and uh, maybe gearing up here for one final giant battle. Uh, Tazarenix is way ahead at this point, but man, he has fought to get there. What a great game. What a good job it's been. Yeah, look at that. You have good multitask. Yeah, he is everywhere, man. Uh, I just got to hand it to Autodidact. That was great. He's been all over the place. Little groups of units here and there. And uh, really able to do a seriously bang-up job. And it looks like this... Zarenix is going to come in here, he's going to take out the 4th, it's going to go down very quickly, there's so many units, plus the Colossus, everything upgraded, all the SCVs will die, and uh, that is the, uh, got to be the death knell here for Autodidact, since he's pretty much mined out at all his other bases, and he's going to have to do one final push. And it is exactly what it looks like he's trying to do. Is Tazarenix is maxed out. Autodidact. Trying to catch up. Spending the last of his money. He's got tons of gas. But it doesn't appear as though it's going to be anywhere near enough. He would have to have absolutely perfect, beyond perfect EMPs and it would have to be the perfect engagement. Um, this is not not exactly what you want. He is getting off really good EMPs. Tazarenex being forced to pull back, kills a Colossus. Blinks back with the Stalkers to keep them from picking off, trying to pick off a couple of 
Vikings. And I'm not sure if giving chase is exactly what Autodidact wants to do here. This is a good spot for him if he wants to engage here. He has an opportunity to get a nice concave, but the Zealots charge in. And man, they just wreak havoc with the Archons in the back. No more EMPs. And there goes Autodidact's army being chased around are the Vikings. And that is going to be the end of it. I mean, he's got to... Gonna, gotta call GG at some point here. Um, any minute, he's just in very bad way. Doesn't have it, anything mining really now. They did, man. They mined out almost the whole map here. But no GG from Autodidact, which makes me a little bit sad. And there goes the hair dryer. Is that the hair dryer? That is the hair dryer from <laughs> the command center. That's the the faded hair dryer. <laughs> Oh, that was a really good game. I really enjoyed it. You really got to hand it to Autodidact. He hung in there. Um, really good multitasking. He was all over the map. But to Zaranix, man, to his credit, just able to hang in there. I want to look at one thing before we go. I want to see how many gateways Taz had. Here is nine. Is that the only place he had warp at nine? And he had three Stargates. He didn't even use these. I don't think... I don't recall seeing even one air unit come out. Maybe he's going to make some Phoenix to go after those Vikings, but... Wow, stayed on nine gates the whole time. I'm actually surprised. I figured that... And he does have quite a bank. I figured he would have had, like, quite a few more gates, but... Other than that, man, just a great game. Really well done for by both guys, and congratulations to Zaranix. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was... Noobcast number 499, and um, I've been having some issues with the sound. Again, I'm sorry. I Hopefully um, it's fixed this time. I turned down the mic and did some things, and uh, hopefully the last few haven't been too unbearable. I know there was probably a ton of clipping because I was being a freak. <laughs> All right, guys. Keep climbing that ladder. Peace out.